Good morning, guys. Well, I'm finally getting round to the ice elastics, uh, re shimming again. You may remember from uh, the last video in this uh, playlist that um, my friend Jeff and I had uh, done an initial shim up after they were. We found that they were too tight after the recent swing arm fix. Well, I'm going to attempt to re shim them. Uh, taking this front mount off the bike first of all, um, I'll remove the gas tank, uh, check those head steady mounts and then also the rear mounts as well. And since the bike is not on the main stand, I have just uh, supported the engine cradle underneath. I haven't jacked it up as such, I'm just supporting it just to try and bring some balance to the frame and the the cradle uh, so that it'll be easier to remove some of those uh, engine mounts and so i'm going to start off by removing the gas tank so that i can get to those head steady mounts i'm going to try and do everything today uh, front mounts head steady mounts and rear ice elastics as well i recognize that it is a it's not a science but rather an art and I've read tons of articles and looked at videos online and looked at your video Bruce thanks a lot so uh, got a lot of help and advice online and um, I recognize it's a bit of a trial and error so this will be the second pass at trying to adjust these isolastics Okay, that's the gas tank off. And uh, as you'll see, this is just the standard head steady setup. Um, this is a Mark II A 1974 bike, so no special head steady arrangement on this one, or, or that's been added later. Um, you'll see it's got the rubber mounts there on both sides, just like the little rubber mounts that you see on the exhaust mounts. I bought a couple of the rubber mounts as well. The old ones don't look so bad, but um, I'll replace them anyway and make sure that those nuts are talked down to the correct settings. So now to start slackening off all the nuts and bolts uh, in preparation for removing this front mounting assembly. Uh, I'm going to take that off completely if I can and stick it in the vise and then start measuring for tolerances before I put it back in the bike.
Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to move this header pipe out of the way. I thought perhaps just uh, jiggling around down there, I would have the ability to um, move the bolt a little bit, but um, there's no way, I don't think. I mean, it's loose now and everything, but you'll see there's just so little room in there. I thought perhaps for a moment I could jiggle it around a little bit and get it to come through a little further down where there's some more clearance, but it's not happening. So I'm going to loosen off the header pipe, uh, obviously after loosen it at the rear as well. Hopefully maybe swing it out of the way a little bit and then that would allow that bolt to pass through the gap. Which will allow me to then withdraw this whole front ISO assembly. Okay, so it's just a few minutes later. Uh, so I've removed the silencers, the mufflers off the back, just this side actually. Um, six million bolts to undo on that uh, assembly. And then here I've just loosened off both this side on the header and on the other side as well. So I've undone the exhaust nuts, which has now allowed me to move the silencer back so that I can get that bolt all the way out from the ice elastics. So here's the front ice elastics mount off the bike uh, on the bench and immediately I'm noticing it's in pretty rough condition which is the, the metal works no problem that'll soon clean up but uh, what I'm seeing is if you can see it uh, that center bush is out of line through wear on this rubber uh, that should be dead center and so I'm thinking I may have to actually replace these rubber mounts. Um, I think I may have some other spare ones. I'm not sure. And then so as we look at the other side, this is in a pretty bad state. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if, uh, if that truly is round and centered, then you really get a sense of how out of line that is right now. This is just the inside collar and the shims are on the inside of this. Hopefully, we will soon see as we disassemble, but uh, I don't know if you can see that, so... Clearly misshaped. And so, to get the best possible chance of um, reduced vibration, I think what I'm going to have to do is replace those inside mounts, especially now that I've got this front mount off the bike anyway as well. Uh, give it all good clean up as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's way out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it was just a little bit, but that's quite a lot, right? which implies a lot of wear and tear on those rubbers and they feel kind of spongy. I've read that the new rubbers are pretty solid actually introduce a little bit more vibration than before because the older rubbers were softer but I may have some older rubbers that I could possibly use in here. And this is the main bolt you see Someone's had a go at that in the past. It's pretty gnarly, dry, rusty. So what I might do is order a new one of these as well, if I have to order the new rubbers. I'll show you the anatomy of this uh, unit in just a minute, but uh, as you'll see, 
um, the right hand side this color it's in a hell of a state um, just all that gunk and dirt and rust maybe if there is any is all going to add to the issue of the right clearance as well so obviously when I take this all apart I'll be giving it a thorough clean one little shim there maybe yep just the one e. I haven't taken the inner rubber mount from inside the isoelastic unit apart yet but just thought I'd give you a quick flyby of all the parts that make up this front isoelastic unit so uh, there on the left hand side you know, that's the final outside collar um, this is the PTFE washer here uh, inside collar and then that's one of a number of shims and they sit on the inside of here they fit into there and then that inside collar goes on the outside of there we've got the unit itself with the rubber mounts on the inside and then it's just repeated on the other side here but uh, oh yeah the rubber gator at the end the last one's long since gone but on the other side and then this I've got new gators rubber boots and um, be cleaning all this up for a nice clean fit and finish and then as I mentioned earlier that's the main bolt that goes through the center that's a little rough uh, so maybe replacing that and so next stop will be to start disassembling this ISO unit Just thinking a little bit more about the forces that have been at play on this rubber mounting system within the front ice elastic So what I did I just uh, sort of loosely mounted the unit back into the frame of the bike didn't put the bolts in or anything uh, just to line it up with how it sits in the bike and then place this magnet so that it was going directly upwards um, just to give a sense of where the uh, stress is taking place and you know it's from about this 10 to to maybe 5 past or 10 past position if this were a clock and so I think what's been happening as the engine has been bearing down in this direction here uh, onto this ISO unit what we've seen is a deterioration of the rubber in this top section here this sort of quadrant area here along the bottom not so much because it's kind of uh, forcing down which has worn the rubber away here in this top section so I think that's why we're seeing uh, deterioration and this essentially this um, this bush migrate further towards the top of the mount and so yeah this needs to be dead center if I can get that so um, next job will be to remove these rubber units from inside the ISO I'm obviously not going to try and save these so I'm just going to get them out as fairly crudely as I can just picking away at them until they come out Gosh, they're like uh, they're like coal on the ends. They're a little they they're pretty malleable, but in, you can see how all that dust and debris. Yeah, so that's the larger one. So let me put that one there. The next one comes out. Oh, and the other two actually. They've come out. Oh, look at the state of those. Oh, gosh. Yeah, look at that. They're even off the bushing. Look at that. Oh. Filthy. Oh, I'm so glad I did this now. 
you know, I was just going to reshim it on the bike, but okay, now it's got me thinking about the rear one, though. That's the only problem. So that one, that one. Um, see it now. Look how off centre that is. And then inside, let me shine a torch in there. Oh gosh, miles away, sorry. Pretty rusty. So that's going to be a job and a half, just to clean this all out. Whoa, look at that. See all those residual bits of rubber in there. Can you see? I hope you can see that. And here's another view of the anatomy of the front unit now that the uh, inside rubber mounts have been removed. I'm thinking now I may not finish this job today. <laughs> Little ambitious. <laughs> 